Good morning, you guys. As you can see, I've got ready for some exercise. I'm going to spin this morning. This is my outfit. Um, obviously, I'm going to not be wearing these shoes in actual spin because you get special cleat things. I wanted to film the pink makeup tutorial for you all today. And then I was like, why not just vlog around it? Because it's not the most complex makeup in the world. Um, and I was going to do like a chatty get ready with me. But then I was like, why not just do a vlog instead but I will leave a link to the timings of the pink makeup down below if you don't want to watch a vlog you do just want to watch a makeup tutorial I went to Plaza on Monday and then PT on Tuesday and Wednesday so my body is hurting I'm a little bit nervous for spin I don't know quite how it's going to be but hopefully I'll be able to push through um but yeah I'm going to get going now I've got a little bit of a walk uh, I need to layer up though I think I need to put a jumper and a coat on and stuff even though it's still not actually that cold but I'm going to do that. So I'm back from spin, I've got sweaty hair, <laughs> um, it was tough today after all my squats and everything that I've been doing, I'm actually going to have to rest this camera on my knee. I think I'm finally following the instructions a bit better, like putting my resistance up where it should be um, and like pushing myself a bit harder in the classes so that's good. So yeah, feeling sweaty and tired so I'm going to go and sort myself out, have a shower and everything. Um, and then I think the first thing I'm going to do today is actually edit a video that I filmed yesterday because I need to check that I don't need to refilm it. Um, <laughs> I hope I don't, but you never know. We have a slight skincare change. I bought the, sorry, we're steaming up here. Um, I bought the Medicaid Pore Cleanse Gel Intense um, because I left my other one at my friend's house. So I bought this one. Um, and I think I'm liking it more, plus it smells really good. But yeah, this is what I'm using in the shower at the moment. Also, this morning I finally bought myself a keep cup. Long overdue, but I am pleased I've finally done it. So I'm all fresh and clean. I'm going to do my editing now and then we'll see how we get on. I'm just going to consult the old bullet journal a minute. Pretty much got to edit this. I want to film this makeup for you guys and then I've got a couple of other little bits to do today so not a crazy busy day it has been a really busy week got lots of jobs going on at the moment I'm actually really excited about them but um, it's it's a lot of stuff yeah got to keep on top of it all but yeah it's been a really busy 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 week um, lots of content making also it was new nail day yesterday and I'm loving them look how pretty I do feel like they're going to break though because they're so pointy this time and they're quite long. I didn't realise how long they'd gone. So um, I feel like they're probably going to break this time around. I'm going to do my best not to let them. Um, but yeah, I think it's called... Oh, what's the shade called? I think this one's Powder My Nose. I'm not sure, but we did quite like a nice sheer layer of it so that um, it looks really natural. I have finished my edit and I have sent that all off, so hopefully the brand likes it, it's always a bit of a nerve-wracking experience, waiting to see if there's amendments and stuff to um, sponsored content because you're like, oh my god, I'm going to have to refilm this. I am going to, I want to take a picture of my new nails, I think, for my Instagram today. So I'm going to take a picture of that, oh, and I also just listened to um, the podcast that I did with Sammy Jeffcoat. Um, who is the most gorgeous human being. She um, is kind of most active um, on Instagram. I will leave a link to her Instagram down below. And she invited me on her podcast. We met in Paris on the Maison Margiela trip. Um, and she invited me on her podcast, which I thought was really nice because I am truly the most dull human being in the world. <laughs> um, so 
yay so anyway i'll link up everything of hers down below she also has a youtube channel and obviously i will link up the podcast itself it's not out yet but i think it's coming out maybe next week i'm not entirely sure we just talk all things youtube and like i just basically went through my entire <laughs> youtube career which is eight years um with her so yeah that was really nice anyway i'm going to take this picture now i'm going to use i've got this little phone stand so i've got this little phone stand which i bought on amazon and i'm hoping that it's going to be useful for this kind of thing just popped on my new trues um so yeah need to find a little good lighting spot gonna crouch down okay i am gonna get all my things ready to film my pink makeup i am gonna eat first but um i'm gonna film downstairs because all my equipment is set up down there because i thought that i would film it nicely today for you guys what am i saying yeah i'm gonna have to take all my makeup downstairs so i'm gonna pack a bag of makeup i inevitably forget something or three things separately when I'm filming downstairs. So I end up running up and down the stairs a million times. And I think today my legs truly cannot take any more. So I need to be as good as possible on this. Right, I'm also gonna style my hair, you guys, because no offense to me, but it looks like shit. <laughs> um, I'm just so uninspired by it at the moment. Um, I want my fringe to grow out. I don't know whether to grow it down to my shoulders again whilst I wait for my fringe to grow out. But then I also think it looks better as a bob, slightly shorter than this. Um, Cause otherwise I get a bit triangly. Um, so I don't know, I think I'll probably wait, let it grow out longer, let my fringe grow out, then cut it back once my fringe is pretty much all grown out. But yeah, I was liking the side part for a bit, but now I'm kind of over it. I'm just gonna tilt you guys up a little bit so you can see better. And then my other alternative was to like let it grow shoulder length and then maybe get some extensions or something um, because I haven't had long hair for ages and I've been having this urge to like have long like mermaidy hair and if you get extensions you have to actually grow it out plus my hair is fine but it's thick but if but because it's fine if it grows out long it gets a bit like ratty looks a bit thin at the ends so that's another option. Let me know what you guys think anyway. Should I grow it shoulder length and then cut it back kind of shorter than this probably? Or should I grow it shoulder length and then get some extensions? I am liking the dark colour. I think I'll probably keep the colour a bit darker. I just think it like um, frames my face a bit better. Anyway, I changed out my fun trousers by the way because I want to shoot with them this weekend. And I didn't want to get myself in a big mess because when I filmed yesterday i actually made the biggest mess of myself even though they are very comfy those um snakeskin print trousers i'm just gonna wave my hair super simple after i've done this makeup i think i'm like done for the day which is kind of crazy and i'm like should i try and fit something out actually no i'll tell you what i'll do i'm gonna read my book for the rest of the afternoon because I haven't had time to read it yet this week and I really want to read it. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll read Milkmen is what I'm reading at the moment. Um, and on my Kindle, I am reading um, The Three Body Problem, which is a translated Chinese sci-fi, like hard sci-fi. Uh, it's very sciencey, but I'm kind of loving it. Um, so yeah, the two things couldn't be more different. But anyway, that's what I'm reading at the moment. But yeah, I'll read The Milkman because that's my like home book. Anyway, I'm gonna speed this up because it's boring for you guys. Yeah, it's hard and I know you've been waiting. I've been thinking about you, I've been thinking about you, I've been thinking about you, about you. Girl, I pray and I hope he's the patient, yeah. I'm spending it all thinking about you, I've been thinking about you, I've been thinking about you. Because I've been waiting to call you, I've been waiting to call you at the right 
I am watching, wow, what is happening on my screen? Um, I'm watching the confession tapes on Netflix. Um, I've only just started it, so I'm not sure what I think yet, but that's what I'm watching. And I got some sushi as a reward for getting most of my work done this week. So guys, got you nice and close, just finished my lunch, so I thought we would get started. I'm gonna leave my fringe down. I hope you don't mind, I know it really annoys some people. I'm gonna start with my um, Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. I'm gonna look really super shiny today, by the way, you guys, because I've got my studio lights on. So please forgive me. I don't actually look this shiny in reality. I mean, I look pretty shiny, but just not this shiny. I'm gonna do my um, Bare Minerals Original Foundation. I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush. It's actually a bit too much in the lid there. And I'm gonna buff that over the top. Favorite combo of the minute. It's perfect for this look because this look is kind of statement eyes, but I want like fresh looking skin. Probably should have done concealer first though. Oops. Um, gonna use the Lancome Taint Doll Camouflage Concealer. Just buff that in with a Real Techniques buffing brush. I'm not gonna make the skin too, too flawless, but... Oh, hang on, that's not blended. This is the problem when I do makeup um, on camera like this and I don't have a mirror because you just end up leaving splotches everywhere. You only need the tiniest, tiniest bit, this Lancome concealer, it's really, really good. So I do a kind of mixture of patting it in and then like blending the edges. I'm gonna put a tiny bit around my nose just to make it slightly less red. I'm gonna go in with a tiny bit more of the original foundation just to make sure that's all buffed and set and stuff. I've realized one of the things I've forgotten is an eye primer of some kind. Maybe we'll just use a little bit of concealer. Hopefully that'll be the only thing I've left upstairs. Just using whatever's left on the back of my hand. You don't really super need eye primer all the time, I don't think, but especially with a bright, bright eyeshadow like this. I think I'm just gonna go straight in with my Beauty Bay Identity Palette. Love these shadows. Um, I know I talked about it in another vlog. All my brushes are kind of dirty as well, by the way, you guys, so please forgive me. I actually have some brushes I haven't cleaned since last time I did this look, so I'm gonna try, try and use those. But anyway, I am gonna go in with this, can you see that bright, super bright, kind of corally pink color. Um, I'm actually going to use this mirror because it's nice and big. And as you can see, once you pop it on, it kind of becomes almost like a neon-y pink. I think Mimi's having a dream over there. She's had a bit of a bad day. Then I'm going to take a clean <laughs> blending brush and just go over the edges of that. The, these shadows buff so so nicely guys i have not started any of my christmas shopping yet this year and i have usually begun by now but i just haven't been feeling inspired present shopping wise also i need to be paid i'm waiting to be paid a bit because it's such an expensive time of year yeah i really really need to start thinking about it because i don't like being last minute with it all it really stresses me out I'm going to keep blending that until you kind of get that almost into the brow. Because this is going to be a kind of all over look. At some point I want to do a look which kind of comes out here. Because um, I follow some incredible makeup artists on Instagram. And I always just think it looks so cool. But I feel like I would look like an idiot. Um, 
Okay, now I'm going to take a blending brush that you can see I have used for this purpose before. And I'm going to take this orangey colour. Um, and I'm going to put that into the crease. And again, I'm taking it kind of up into the brow a little bit, which we can sort out in a minute. And also kind of into this inner corner bit, kind of this hollow here, again into the brow. I think this might be, I don't know if it's the lights making this look crazier or what, but I think this is probably a little bit brighter than the one I did before. And then I'm going to go back in with my blending brush from before and make sure the kind of pink and orange are kind of blended into each other so it has an almost ombre kind of effect. Right, it's definitely time to take this underneath the lid a little bit because it's looking kind of crazy. So I'm going to take the orange underneath kind of join it up to the end and I'm going to take it relatively far down because this is not supposed to be a kind of subtle look <laughs> unless you can tell I kind of look it, like it looking a little bit messy as well but that might not be everyone's preference but I kind of like it looking a bit kind of grungy it looks like I'm doing a Halloween tutorial or something <laughs> So that is basically it for the eyes. It's so super simple, but very effective, partially because just the eyeshadows are really great colors. Sorry if I'm looking in the screen, by the way, I'm trying to check I'm in focus and all of that good stuff. And also sometimes you put this makeup on and it looks great in the mirror and then you look in the camera and you're like, what is going on there? Um, anyway, I'm gonna curl my lashes. This would probably look good with um, false lashes just to make sure you're getting that definition, but I do not have any down here with me. I did not curl these very well. And then I'm gonna use my current favorite mascara, which is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Ex Mascara. And it's so, so good. I'm gonna do my best not to get any on the eyeshadow because this is not a dark look, so it will show up super easily. Important to this look, although it's all about the eyeshadow, is the rest of the skin because as you can see, my eyes are popping off my face, but everything else, it looks very flat. So I'm gonna do eyebrows first. I'm gonna try and add quite a lot of texture and darkness as well, just to really make sure I'm framing that look properly. Um, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. Now the first time I did this look, I actually put a little bit of um, glitter sparkle into the inner corner but I actually quite like it just completely matte but you can do that as well I think actually at the end of this I might do a little bit of gloss on the eye just to see what that looks like as well and then I'm gonna go in with the YSL Couture Brow um, which is like one of these little gel things and this is really good for adding texture and also keeping them kind of in place I think what we'll do next is blush this is a really important step in this tutorial and then we'll do bronzer over the top so I'm going to use the cloud paint glossier cloud paint in dawn which is a orangey color. So this is kind of gonna mimic what's going on in the eyes. And we're gonna make this quite strong and place it kind of, wow, <laughs> really strong. One of my blushes from Glossier is really kind of subtle and I forgot that this one is not one of those. But anyway, we'll work with it, put some foundation over the top if we need to. So if you end up looking like a clown, go back in with your foundation brush and kind of blend, blend, blend. Maybe we won't even need bronzer, you know. So we're gonna take it kind of round the eye, up onto the temple, and really kind of almost meld it with that eyeshadow. I think we've saved it. It looks good to me in real life, but I'll look back on this and be like, 
you have not saved that. Um, but I certainly think we don't need bronze as well because it is an orangey colour. Kind of needs something under the chin though, so I might put a little bit under there. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals um, All Over Face Warmth. Love this product. Going to use it with the kind of big fluffy brush from before. And just go underneath the chin and onto the chin a little bit as well. So if I was upstairs with all of my makeup, I'd probably put a little tiny bit of pink just on the apples of my cheeks, just to bring that pink and orange vibe together. Something I do want to do is contour. I'm not going to bother the word contour. I'm really into contouring at the moment, kind of go in and out of the habit of contouring, but I'm doing it at the moment. Um, and I'm going to use the Kevin O'Croix Sculpting Powder. I am going to go and get something because I realised I've forgotten my lip, which is kind of integral. So we knew we'd have to go upstairs for something, you guys. But anyway, I'm back. I'm going to use the <laughs> Glossier Cloud Paint in Puff. Um, this one's a lot more subtle, um, but also I guess it's the shade because it's a baby pink. But I'm going to apply that just to the apples of the cheeks. And then we're going to do a few little freckles. Um, I'm not particularly good at them, but um, I have been enjoying the look recently. I'm going to use this Suku brow pen, um, which I think they no longer do. Um, again, I think I asked this before. Please let me know about your eyebrow pen um, recommendations because I need a new one. This one's definitely on its last legs. It's also not particularly dark, so it kind of is a little bit too subtle to be believable. I kind of need a couple different colours, I think, as well. Can you guys see those? I don't know if you can. <laughs> anyway, we're going to do lips now. Um, final step, I think. I'm going to use Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lip in Pure Hollywood, which is a pretty nudie nude. And then I'm just going to pat it in to kind of give it like a lived in look. And you could do gloss, but I think I want to leave it matte. Okay, so that is my finished look. That's how I did it before. I don't know whether to do a bit of gloss. Let's do some gloss just to see what it looks like because I haven't tried it before. So I'm just going to apply some with my finger. I'm going to start slow because otherwise you just move everything around. Mm, this gloss has got a bit of glitter in it and I feel like I should have gone for something not glittery. But you live and you learn. So I'm just applying that to the lid space mainly. I kind of like it, you know. What do you guys think? Um, yeah, so that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed and it was even the tiniest bit useful to some of you. Um, I'm sure some of you can do makeup a lot better than I can. Um, yeah, also, I've been whitening my teeth, you guys, and every time I edit a video back, I'm like, ooh, actually, they do look a bit whiter. Um, I'm just using Crest whitening strips and they're pretty great. I'm going to clear up and then I'm going to get to reading. completely forgot to vlog my dinner which is classic me but it was potato wedges and like a stew so probably not the most aesthetically pleasing dinner anyway anywho I have come upstairs again I spent a good few hours reading making my way through Milkman which is, is it called Milkman or the Milkman it's Milkman isn't it which is about the troubles in Northern Ireland I think it's set specifically in the 70s at least the bit that I am on and I'm enjoying it. It won the man booker in the end. So yeah, I thought I'd bump it up my list. But yeah, it's very wordy and not everyone loves that. Um, but that's something I'll talk about more in my 
review of it. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I definitely think it's kind of a worthy winner. I'm going to answer a couple of emails that I got this afternoon now and uh, I had something else that I wanted to do. I just can't remember what it was. So it's time for bed, you guys. Um, I've just been like planning things the past like couple of hours going over the diary and all that kind of stuff definitely time for bed soon although i'm waiting for zach to get back and then hopefully we're gonna watch master chef the professionals which is so vastly superior to all the other master chefs i'm so pleased he's back on so yeah we're probably gonna do that and then i need to go to sleep it's probably gonna be a bit late for me to watch it to be honest because i've got um been again at 7 a.m. tomorrow, which that extra half an hour I started at it was at 7:30 today, but that extra half an hour makes the world of difference. And I really much prefer the 7:30 classes, but I think there's only one or two a week, or they're just not on convenient days for me. So yeah, we're doing a 7 a.m. class tomorrow, which I am not looking. It's also a new instructor again because I haven't ever been on a Friday before, so we'll see how that goes. Um, for some reason, the only bulb in this room which is out is the one directly above me. So I'm sorry I'm kind of half in the dark here. But yeah, it's been a good day today, I think, and tomorrow I have an even more chill day because um, I don't have to film or anything. So I'm probably just going to be no makeup. Um, I think it's a blog post day tomorrow. So I've got lots of stuff going on on the blog, which I'm hoping this video is going to go up today. So it's either going to be on the blog now, in which case I will link it down below, or it will be going up very soon. I am finally going to put those book reviews that I promised in my book video up. I have written them all bar one. Um, I just didn't have pictures for them, um, which I took earlier this week. I really enjoyed taking all my book pictures earlier this week. I found it so satisfying. Um, they're probably not any good, like little flat layers and just little pictures to go with the reviews, but I found them super duper satisfying. <laughs> I'd love to do, there's this book account that I follow called But I Thought, I will link her down below. Um, she posts really thoughtful reviews, um, I actually follow quite a few Instagram accounts I'm talking about by the way. I actually quite follow quite a few book bookstagrammers, I can't remember what they're called. And when she does flat lays for books, she like includes like um, just little kind of key props that relate to something in the books. And I always think they look so cool and I would love to do that. Um, so we'll see. That's like, that would be the ideal. Obviously that's quite a time consuming because you've got to go out searching for all your little bits and bobs. But that would be cute to do. <laughs> So that has been my day. I am ready for bed. I know it's not been the most exciting day in the world, but I was really feeling vlogging today. I feel like I'm getting back into my YouTube groove, understanding what it means to be like full time on all my platforms. I've never been like focusing slowly, solely on this, so it took me a while to get used to it, I think. And I did have a little bit of a wobble there in Vlogtober as well. Feeling more on top of things now. Um, that I have a bit more time and beginning to get a little bit more creative with things which I'm really enjoying but yeah anyway I'm going to say goodnight to you guys now thank you so much for watching today and I will see you very soon not sure what my next video is going to be but I will see you soon bye